Hi everybody and big welcome to a competitive commander match. In this battle we are doing something a little bit different. We are doing rule zero. So previously we've been uploading a few CDH no ban list gameplays. But now we're doing a mixture. A world between. For example you can play cards that are banned as long as you get a yes from all opponents. For example I am playing channel. This is a Francis Bruce Valakut deck that is trying to utilize channel to gain a bunch of colorless mana to activate Frasius and then use a bunch of reducers to basically pay potentially one life to activate Frasius and just dig through the entire Valakut deck. With us also we have Jason piloting stick fingers. Selt playing mono black Conrad with a gristle brand inside his deck. And last with us we have Peter playing Edric Turns. Alright, let's start the match. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. I will draw a card. I am going to play a Ancient Tomb, Tabba take two damage, play an Arc, and then I'll pass. Fetching Tropical Island, passing the turn. I'll draw. I'll go Snow Covered Swamp into Jeweled Lotus. Oh, wow. I'm just going to let that sink in a little bit. Then I'm going to tap the Swamp to cast the of that. What does that do? The beginning of my upkeep, yellow card, and I can pay three and tap it to exile a creature card from my graveyard and draw. And that's it. Draw a card. Oh, wow. That, that changed things. Pumping Ground, shock it into play tap it fast bond now it might look busted and it's gonna take over the game but we're only activating it once making it into an explore and putting this land into play tapped and passing turn we have actually play tested with fast bond a few times inside this rule zero thing and every single time it's basically performed like an exploration it doesn't feel that busted this is even a deck that is playing 47 lands so this is where it could explode but still I'm just putting one land into play. Play a Let's say Mire. I'm gonna pay life Fragger for Bayou. I'm gonna set the Bayou and Arcane Sigmund to cast a Nature's Law if you guys are okay by shortcut. I'm gonna find both Bayou and Dry Arbor and pass the turn. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll Mystical Tutor. I pass a Mystical Tutor. I'll uh, put a uh, Re Sculpt on top and I will draw it. I'll play an Island. XL target artifact or creature. Its control creates a 4 4 red and blue elemental. Uh, then I will pass a turn. My upkeep, I'll mill a card. It'll be village rights. I'll go to my turn. Inventor's fair land for turn. One, two, three, four, five. And we got Big Daddy Conrad on the field. Big Daddy. Ah, uh, yeah, and I pass. I am going to take my turn and untap. Land drop. Let's go, Gaius Cradle, I guess. Let's do Rassius. And uh, yeah, we don't have that much more to do. And we are passing the turn. I don't have the lands in the hand to fast one. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to a two. I'm going to cast a three visit and I'll find a overgrown tomb tap pass. Aha! I will also play a fast one and I'll play a regular land and one extra reliquary tap. And then I'll pass a turn. Like so far, our fast bonds have been exploration. Yeah, play an extra land but take damage. Painful exploration. Is it my turn already? I'll mill a card. I'll mill reanimate. My turn. No covered swamp land for turn. And I'm going to cast a grave crawler, I think. And then strictly out of principle, I'm gonna punch mobs. <laughs> I'm gonna. I, I, I think I think here you should just start attacking Jason to lower his life. Oh yeah, Jason does use his life total. I'm using my life total too. I remember, I have Shannon. You can attack. Yeah. Next time I'll attack Jason because he does actually require his life total. Oh, I'll, I'll take that's it. Draw a card and untap. There's a soul ring. There's a fireless provisioner. Yeah. And I, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna go for it. Channel two green. I'm tapped up after this. I, uh, I will have to use this resculpt that I had to stop Jason, which I, you are forcing me to use on your Tresios now. But that's okay. I mean, we might just die now. I'll, uh, I'll activate Conrad. Everybody mill. I mill a duress. Mill a pact of negation. Mill a command tower. I hit a creature, so everyone take one. I have, uh, I have no effects versus that, and I guess it was a little bit too fast. For it. And I the channel still on the stack, and I get a four four. Yeah, you'll you'll get a four four red and blue elemental. It's amazing, but I have nothing more to do here because uh, you could pay 31 life to make 31 mana. Yeah, I could do that, but I have nothing to do with that colorless mana. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the channel resolve, and I'm gonna pass turn. A little bit greedy there. Peter had some mana open, but I had it in my hand and just couldn't resist. So untapped, I'm going to draw card. Play one swap teeth. I'm going to play green, black, one. That's six fingers. That's equal to one. Look. 
to the cast trigger and anything else to the cast trigger? None, actually. None. So I will. I'm just gonna tutor for Razzka to put him in my grave. Yeah. Yeah. I'll repeat there. I forgot about your spell there. No, it's fine. I mean, I wanted to exile Razzka. There is Razzka. I am then going to. I'm going to activate um, Agent Two for two colorless, taking two life. I laugh to that as a dance of I have a response. I'm gonna A to life. Noxus Revival targeting your Razakef. Ooh. Oh, and uh, Conrad Trigger when Razakef entered. Sure. Noxus Revival put Razakef on top of my library. Noxus Revival is just one of those amazing cards that does so much. You can use it to put cards from your graveyard on top of your library, basically to rebuild plan A. But you can also interact with graveyard shenanigans. I am going to crack my Windsor Teeth. My basic forest. Now I'll shuffle. And then I will pass Richard. We're not dead yet. I'll play this Botanical Sanctum. I have two mana. I'll play this Invisible Stalker. I can see it though. Yeah, Peter. Stealth is right. We can see it. No, 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 it's invisible. I will pass a turn, so look at these turns. Look at these turns go. <laughs> I'll, I'll mill our card to the throne of death with a delta. I'll go to rest my turn. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go Gari Thug. Does this do something that we need to worry about? It's just, it's just Reg. Hey, Jason, how you doing, bud? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Uh, take seven. I guess I'll take seven. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. All for a turn. Peter, can you cast Edric, please? Come on, man. I'm gonna take my turn and draw a card. Let's begin with recasting Frasius. Let's follow up by cosplaying Valakut as a land drop, making a treasure here. It's not online. I wanna attack Jason with Tireless Provisioner, dealing free damage, and then I pass the turn to you, Jason. Okay, I'll attack. I will draw a card. Play Undergrowth Stadium as my Lamp of Charm. I'm gonna pay all of that. I cast Six Fingers again for one, taking two damage. Get my Razgat back in the grave. I will pass on this. I've used my Noxus Revival. Razgat back in the grave here where he belongs. My good old buddy. Remember the time where I could have exiled uh, Razgat? Um, so there's Razgat. I'm gonna to hit two. That's a Shallow Grave. Targeting Razgat. He has have all the cool stuff. How much How much mana do you have left? I have one green. I, 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 I have nothing. Months. Take it away. I don't have it. I guess the only thing I have is I can tap this for free green, sacrifice this treasure for a mana, activate Frasis, looking at the top, putting mountain on the bottom, and revealing a mountain. Oh. I have three mountains. I got nothing, guys. Razgath comes into play. I'm then going to pay two life, activate Razgath's second stick fingers at 18. Does he have enough life? I think I do, but I'm not 100% sure. So that's why I'm let's just take out all the combo pieces. See if I can do it. I hope I can get there. That would be um, great to see Sick Fingers one again. Uh, where are you, Chain of Smog and Jokes? So let's see if I have enough left. So, cast LED. I'm going to sacrifice it for three green to scurry, reanimate, prayers, grass, and dismember. Okay, I could have just. I could have dismembered the um so pay four life for dismember on the um on that thing on Conrad. Um then I crack LED for three green with one of the green cast life. Wait, wait, you don't have life. First you need to tutor something. Your hand is empty. Oh yeah. I sacrifice right armor. Okay, response. I'll rapid hybridization Rasaka. Wait, so you you rapid hybridization Rasaka in response to sacrificing? Yeah, he can't tutor something else right now. Yeah, so Rasaka will Sally perish. Yeah, three three. And I think I so I still have three green floating. I mean, at the, I'm at, I'm at the end of my hand. I just have one card left. What a guy! Peter truly been a good control police, killing both my Frasius and Rasakev with perfect timings. I forgot again at treasure, by the way. The core mine comes into play. Um, and using one of my three green, I'm going to cast Turn the Earth. What does that one do? Choose up to three target cards in graveyards. The owners of those cards shovel them into their libraries. I gain two life. Ah, oh, so you're gonna bring back your reanimation spell, basically. Reanimate. No, not reanimate, that's, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> Take eight. <laughs> <laughs> Shallow Grave, Dance of the Dead, and... I have a feeling though that Seth is gonna smork you some damage. An LED back into my library. Okay, so Rasekath is still in the grave right now. Rasekath is still in the grave, and so is Armoral. 
and I'm Helmet. Uh, Drogart. Yes, Edric. I have a response to your Edric in casting. I mean, I'm gonna sacrifice this treasure, cast Fire Blast. You're the only blue player against. Oh. Well, you could counter a counter spell. Don't you want Edric? I don't want Edric. It is Pyro Blasted. I'll play Finronels and I'll take Jason for one. I'll pass turn. I'll untap Nola card, Throne of Death, with Amartya. I hope you will not play Victimize right now, Celt. Correct, Peter is right. A Victimize from Celt and he wins the game because he's milled. Mikael's and walking ballista to his graveyard. Marsh flats. I'm gonna take my first damage of the game to crack it for us. Well, speaking of um, reanimating, I'm gonna tap three for a Yogmoth's will. Ooh, what do you have in your grave? I reanimate. There's a Ras there's a Rasakef somewhere else though, so that reanimate. Is yep, he's going to steal my Rasakef oh. again. <laughs> oh, you got it, Celt. I passed, Celt. You got it. I have nothing. I will cast reanimate, and I will get a Rasakef. I'll also cast. Oh yeah, of course. This is why I kind of like the Rothol version more. Yeah. That I think I'm going to go back to Rock Hulk after this, too, because, like... Do I have it? Because I need to get the seven mana to cast on it. Yeah, I will sack Grave Crawler for those Exile because of the uh, Dogmoth's will effect. Get Dark Rift. Then I will sack Ogari Thug for four Victimize. Tap Snow Covered Swamp for Dark Rift. Cast Victimize. Sacrificing Razakef and getting, getting Mike, getting Trike. My bad, I said Walking Ballista, but he did have Triskillion. Still, same thing, win-win, that Victimize did the job. Or actually, it was reanimating Jason's Rasakev to gain the tutors that he needed to find the pieces to win the match. Reanimator versus Reanimator is definitely an interesting matchup. I'm sacrificing with Razakev. Uh, so I have I have an untap, and then we're dead. You have an untap, correct. The reason I have an untap before we die is because there's an Yagmoth's will in effect for Celt, which means he can't combo off now, so he has to combo off in instant speed during my turn. I'm gonna untap, and in response to you starting killing us, I'm gonna try to activate Frasius, I guess. Yeah, you could you could activate it on the first, uh, like, undying trigger. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I need to wait. Celt, you need to start. I need to wait and activate once you've started. Yeah, so I'll ping everyone for one, or I'll ping Mons for one, I'll ping Mons for two, then I'll kill Triskelion with the last nerf. It'll come back with... Yes, and then... Then it enters battlefield with four, plus four, at least three counters, so I can just keep, keep doing everyone. In response to your undying trigger, I'm gonna activate Frasius floating a green mana. Ooh, deflecting swat. Oh, this is in response to the undying trigger. Yeah, it's too late. I should have act yeah, it doesn't matter anymore because he can always play around deflecting swat. I should have activated before, but if I would have done that, it wouldn't have mattered because then he would just heal me anyway. Yeah. So it wouldn't have mattered. No matter what, I how I did this, I'm gonna put this one on the bottom and just take this to play. And one, two, three, and I have this one on top. Activate the last time. Bottom and a test play stage. Nope, I have nothing. You, you, you can win. I will proceed to uh, pew pew. Yeah, pew 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 pew. GG's. Well played, Cell. Nice steal there with your Jogmoth's will. Play of the game. A Yogmoth's will. Ooh, what do you have in your grave? A reanimate. <laughs> there's a Ras there's a Rasakef somewhere else though. Congratulations, Celt, for winning with your mono black Sir Conrad deck. But this really brings up a really good topic that is called Don't build decks too big to fail. You see, Jason is usually playing this stick finger package with Rotolk Cities and Mikaeus, and from this he basically wins the match. And Rasakev is basically an alternative win con that is sometimes Jason is experimenting with. The thing is here that Rasakev is a card pretty much every deck could utilize as long as they have a reanimation spell. And there's a lot of decks running around with reanimation spells. But this combo package doesn't really include any creatures that you kinda wanna reanimate. Sure, reanimating Sidizi is a tutor, but it's not as equally bad as a Razakef. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you wanna support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Player's website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.